Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're working on the free key. Uh, we're gonna be doing the uh, very simple wiring on the car. I got a real cheap uh, but simple uh, six circuit fuse box off of Amazon. It was like, I don't know, 20 bucks or something really cheap, and it basically will handle everything we need. I got a starter solenoid also off of Amazon that's supposed to be better, I don't know, but we're wiring the car is 12 volts, so I got a 12 volt, volt solenoid for the car. Uh, the ignition switch on the car is pretty cool. We have um, an old boat ignition switch that I found out of a panel and I fit that to the custom column drop that I built. So I was missing a key and I googled uh, the brand and it's, it turns out they still make basically this ignition switch. So I bought it brand new at Lowe's for like 10 bucks and it turns out the key uh, actually fits the switch I already had which is sweet. So we're in business there. And I got all my wiring supplies on the tray here, so I'm going to start laying everything out. We're not going to go like real crazy showing you every, every crimp, every shrink, everything like that. Mainly just show you where I'm mounting stuff and how we're routing stuff. And uh, we're going to work on getting this thing, get some power to everything so that hopefully we can fire this thing up in one of the next episodes. So let's get started. Alright, so we got a battery for the car. I went to the local auto parts store here in town and uh, they actually carry DECA batteries, which are gel, ba uh, gel power sport batteries. And these are basically the same batteries as some of those uh, racing batteries that you buy from Braille. Uh, DECA actually makes them, they're local here. So we can actually walk in and get the DECA branded ones right from them. So it's the gel battery, little baby battery. Car doesn't have any crazy electronics. The nice thing about the gels are we can actually lay it down and it doesn't need any venting. 
So I can kind of put this wherever I need it and uh, fits pretty nice. It'll fit right underneath that seat, which will be great. And uh, we got our little fuse box here. So I'm going to try and move stuff around. We have our power wire. Uh, I want it to come out somewhere over here, I think. And uh, yeah, that'll work out nice. So we can put our, our battery right about here. Power side is there. So we can put a hole in the floor somewhere over here, bring it up right there to the top of the battery. And it's just got a little bolt, so we can just put a little eyelet on it. And then the ground, of course. And then I think we're going to put our fuse box somewhere kind of next to it or close proximity to it, like that. And then we are uh, able to start looming rest of our wires to ignition switch and everything, but got one of these little Legend AGM batteries. They, they work pretty well. I've used them on some other cars when I was younger, and they work all right, just you got to keep them charged, obviously. So we'll, this car will be on a trickle charger, and really we'll only need a battery to, uh, to crank the engine over for one or two revolutions, and otherwise there's not going to be much electronics on it that it will need uh, too big of a battery. So. We'll work on getting the power cable up here, get the power ran to the starter, and uh, we'll just keep filling in the gaps. All right, let's test our fit here. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Got a little bit of dirt there already. Yeah, it fits perfect. I don't feel like the battery underneath of it, so it doesn't feel like you're like touching the battery. Well, under a, there's a backing board, right? Backing yeah, board. yep. But even if it flexed a little bit, you'd probably feel it hit the battery if it was like sitting on it. So yeah, should be good. All right, after a Sunday service of jumping around working on a bunch of projects, uh, I got a little bit done on the free tea. And uh, the main thing we got done is I went down to the local auto parts store, found that dry cell battery. We got kind of the location for that figured out. I put some threaded inserts in the floor to mount the little six, uh, six circuit fuse box. Got that screwed down in. And the big thing was we got all the wires run for the, the heavy wiring for the, the chassis ground from the body of the chassis and the, uh, the wires from the battery to the starter solenoid and then of course to the starter. So all of that drilling the holes and running the grommets and fitting all those little clips into the frame takes a long time um, and I constantly get guys asking me like why isn't the car done yet but stuff like this takes hours just to get all this stuff fit because you have to really overthink where everything is we don't want any wires really visible in the car or like along the frame so we're trying to hide everything and that just takes extra thought process and extra time uh, so that's why it's going a little slow right now but got all that stuff in place so I kind of have like the skeleton of what we need to do and now it's just running wires to the ignition switch uh, running the wire to kill for the kill switch for the uh, magneto and uh, headlights, taillight. That's basically it. Not a lot on this car. So I'll work on getting all that stuff done in between. And um, hopefully next episode we're going to be trying to start this thing or at least turning it over. That's the goal, fingers crossed. And hopefully we'll be able to make some noise with this thing really, really soon. I'm, I'm getting really excited and summer's coming to an end. So. I really want to drive this thing around the block at the least and raise a little bit of hell. So that's all I have for this one. I appreciate you guys following along the free T build. We're getting right down to the end and hopefully we'll have a driving video really soon. Uh, we do videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. If you haven't, definitely hit that subscribe button. And all I ever ask is for you guys to share it with friends so we can grow the channel and get more people uh, watching and enjoying the videos. Thanks guys. Catch you later.